In today's video, we'll be going over the most overpowered things that are currently out in Cold War Zombies. Now, this is from weapons to items to field upgrades and even much more. Stuff that will make your games run better on round based maps and even Outbreak. Now, do bear in mind this can get patched or nerfed or changed any moment since Season 5 is just around the corner. I feel like some of these things will actually still stay as good as they are because I doubt Treyarch is planning to fix everything that I'm going to have on this list. So, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe as that does always really help out the YouTube channel we are on the road to 30,000 subscribers and we are just halfway there to 26k which is absolutely mind-blowing thank you all so much so be sure to subscribe and also if you enjoyed this video in any kind of way be sure to drop a like on the video can we aim for 150 likes on this one that would be pretty epic if we could reach that milestone without further ado let's get right into the list so the first thing i'm going to cover is something that is very obvious throughout the zombies community right now but last night i was streaming going for dark ether mace in cold war zombies and something that i found out to make your life so much easier for going for jackrabbit medals which is the last camo on every single weapon that you need to get where you need to get 20 kills without getting hit by zombies and that is none other than shatter blast this thing is currently as broken as it could be i know that treyarch decided to go out there and kind of nerf its radius of the amount of damage you can deal around the area and surprisingly even though you do need a compact group of zombies so just have a smaller amount of zombies together it can still destroy over 20 zombies it can fully kill over 20 zombies because when i was going for the camo challenge i got the jackrabbit medal with like a horde of at, le at least like let's say 25 to 26 zombies fully killed which is absolutely amazing so shatter blast is still broken it not only is broken on normal round base maps and outbreak but also it does deal more damage on zombies like the panzers i'm pretty sure none other ones but it will destroy armor faster on the armored zombies so shatter blast is currently absolutely amazing to use and 100% should always be your ammo mod of choice to put on on melee weapons and even normal bullet weapons now another thing that i really would recommend for you to use is use any kind of explosives now this isn't exactly explosive weapons like the rocket launcher but things like a semtex c4 or even preferably the war machine now this thing is absolutely overpowered the war machine will one shot zombies up on until, well max round which is 935 because the health cap of zombies is the exact same damage that the war machine deals max so basically once you reach round 55 you will be dealing maximum damage perfect amount with the war machine and every single other explosives like the semtex's grenades or c4 to fully kill zombies and this also can apply to things like the energy mine i'm pretty sure and i'm not 100 percent sure about the rocket launchers just because obviously they're weapons and i doubt Treyarch would want to make them as overpowered as possible but definitely use the the war machine for high rounding and different things like that i feel like this is already known throughout the zombies community but something obviously i put on this list because it is absolutely overpowered right now and i don't think treyarch is going to change them since they just changed it in season 4 reloaded to be like this another thing that from what i've seen people use is the bow special weapon that you can get from the craftable machine now yes the damage on it with its fire effect or whatever you want to call that isn't great but the cool thing about this weapon is it is really good with its melee so basically the melee on the bow itself can deal infinite amount of damage as well the fire effect that you get from the bow itself when you melee any kind of zombie special zombie elite zombie normal zombie the fire effect will remain around the zombie itself for a very long time which is going to be the main thing that will fully kill the zombie itself so similar to the way war machine is great with its explosive damage this one is great for a melee weapon it mightn't be fast with its swing it mightn't be the e tool but it's still extremely effective against the zombie and it's actually really fun and really great to use in game so i definitely recommend if you for example just want to mess around one day or want to have a weapon that can just deal infinite amount of damage as well for pretty high rounds just to melee let's say that one panzer on outbreak and just not have to worry about it because he'll just have effective fire damage on him for quite some time now i'm going to quickly cover some of the weapons that in my opinion are currently extremely overpowered and are going to remain to be extremely overpowered number one has to be the amp 63 the fact that it's a fully automatic pistol is one of the factors why it's great but it's, you can also do wield it so on top of this you are basically dealing twice as much damage it's great to take down the legion boss fight but even on top of all of this it has the fastest dps i'm pretty sure from what i've heard and from what i've even tested on myself you can also deal insane amount of headshot damage for a very long time and it is a great weapon another really good weapon to use is the e tool now i know that there's a huge fan base of the e tool itself uh, so i had to put it on here the only reason it is on this 
this list is just because it is extremely fast with its swings and it's a melee weapon so melee weapons are always being good they give you a bunch of points and obviously apart from the bow itself the e2 lets you spawn in with it instantly and you don't have to worry about collecting salvage either the gallo or the hower as of shotguns they're absolutely amazing to use obviously the hower used to be the most overpowered thing in game but it has since been nerfed but the gallo and the hower can be kind of 50 50 i prefer the gallo myself but if you'd like to use i recommend using the i don't know just hower as well doesn't matter and the last thing i'll put on this list apart from obviously i could put the ring of fire on this list and be like oh yeah just go use the ring of fire i think it's just kind of obvious at this stage to use the ring of fire to be overpowered but something that gets kind of ignored a lot is toxic growth something that in my opinion is one of the best field upgrades currently out there apart from you know like the ones that can give you perks like i guess ring of fire to deal more damage frenzy guard to get more armor or ether shroud to protect you from zombies toxic growth is just great to use if you're planning to maybe go for a high round strategy this thing can really be well utilized in some locations for example on top of knockdown totem i got one of my first round 100s yes judge me all you want but one of my first and fastest round 100s with my friends because we utilized ring of fire with a combination of toxic growth and it proved to be extremely effective so toxic growth if you're planning to go for high rounds if you're planning to camp in any locations with friends or even yourself consider using it it is actually extremely useful and extremely good to use so that's going to be for the list i just decided to go over weapons and different things like that anyway guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed hopefully i told you some stuff you didn't know without further ado guys i'll see you in the next one peace out